Good afternoon, NorCal Carters. It's uh, Friday already, Friday, February 12th, and this is our uh, weekly update. And uh, again, more and more events are happening. Uh, so what we're going to cover in this podcast, we're going to cover uh, the Blue Max schedule came out. Uh, Challenge of the Americas has an event coming up. Uh, and in fact, their registration deadline is in two days. So make sure if you want to run Challenge of the Americas and you want to save some money, register now before uh, Sunday evening. Otherwise, uh, their price goes up. And that's for the Fontana event. Uh, let's see, we have Prairie City. We're going to talk about their upcoming event next week. And we also have um, NCK Road Racing. And they will uh, will uh, mention their events that are coming up. So if we're missing your events, send me an email. Send me a link to your page. We'll, we will get them on the calendar. Um, all, all the clubs or promoters that affect Northern California, um, we, we give them a free listing. But if you look at some listings and they have websites, uh, links to registration pages, full descriptions, those are the sponsors of NorCal Carters. And we give them extra attention for their donations to our project. And we also mention them a little bit uh, more often throughout the podcast. So if you feel like your club is getting left out, reach out to me. And um, we'll, we'll start highlighting them with a the sponsorship for NorCalCarters.com. So let's get to it. It's been a beautiful day. Rained a couple of days ago. The sun's out. Just beautiful weather. That's... It'd be very hard for me to leave California. I, I can tell you that much because it's just so beautiful out there. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention GFC Karting. Uh, we'll also highlight them because they are also a sponsor of NorCal Carters. So uh, GFC Karting. So let's get to it. Uh, as a reminder, this weekend, Valentine's Day is on Sunday. So... Um, Maybe I just bailed you out of the doghouse. I don't know. But uh, Sunday, Valentine's Day. Uh, Monday, uh, a lot of the kiddos are out of school for President's Day. And uh, that is on Monday. And I just mentioned GFC Carding. So uh, Gary's website is gfccarding.com. He has a busy February coming up. Uh, next weekend, he's traveling to the, uh, Florida for the Florida Winter Tour. And um, the following weekend, he'll be back home, and he'll be prepping for the Challenge of the Americas event at uh, Fontana. So gfccarding.com, one of our NorCal Carter sponsors. Thank you for the support. We do appreciate it. And uh, also next weekend, Prairie City Carding. They are also a NorCal Carter sponsor. Their website, PC carding.com and in our world carding is always spelled with a k not a c so pccarding.com and this is their first race weekend for the two strokes so two stroke race weekend now in order to be compliant for their track and their situation being on government property they had to break up their race weekends to keep the numbers below a certain threshold so last weekend they had their first race for the four strokes. This weekend, they're having their first race for the two strokes. And you go to NorCalCarters.com. You can click on our calendar, look at the events, click on a sponsor's event, and it will take you to their website. And just to run down the classes that they're offering on the two-stroke weekend, it's a two-stroke and tag and also a 125 shifters. So uh, I know my buddy Henry is probably all excited to get ready to go out to the track. He's been growing his uh, limited 125 uh, shifter group on Facebook. Uh, so go check that out. And he's just, he's just trying to get a group of good dudes together just to go support the local tracks and help build up that 125 class. They're very similar to what the 80 guys have been doing over the past couple of years. So... Um, I'm pretty sure he's pretty excited to be out the track. And let's see here. So Prairie City Karting, PCCarting.com. Their two-stroke race weekend is coming up February 20th and 21st. And those are going to be 
the cadet classes, the tag classes, uh, senior and master tag. Also, the KA100s, so that's the 100cc classes. They're running the um, KA100 junior, KA100 senior, KA100 masters, and also the 125 shifters. So for um, all the information on those different classes, again, NorCalCarters.com, click on our event calendar, and it will take you directly to the Durbin's webpage at uh, pccarding.com. And it uh, looks like race number one, February 20th through the 21st, is going to be a modified perimeter track. And I've actually been spending a lot more time out at Prairie City this year. Um, it's, it's only like 35 minutes from my house. And I, I'm kind of getting my groove. I stop by the local Rayleigh's. I grab my sandwich. I grab my waters. Fill the ice chest. Head out to the track. I do my four laps, and then I head home. Um, but, yeah, just watching the improvements that Donald and uh, his staff and his family have been doing out there has been uh, really neat to see. Um, and, yeah, I, I like going out there. So um, over the past couple of years, I've, I've tried mixing it up to the different tracks and um, trying to keep everything pretty local. Um, but, yeah, so it's been going out to Prairie City. So, February 20th, 21st, race one for the two-stroke weekend. Again, NorCalCarters.com. Go to the calendar page, click on an event, go right to their page. Um, so, boom. Um, actually, Prairie City had a very, very successful four-stroke weekend. I think just in the Briggs Senior Class, they had 25 or 30 entries and um, I actually just sold my Briggs cart. <laughs> and now that I see how many entries out there, I need to buy another Briggs cart to get out there because that's, um, that's what I've been looking for. My buddy Patrick got me back in the seat a couple of years ago. And the first race I entered, we had 30 or 35 Briggs seniors. And the following year, we had big classes. And after that, it kind of tapered off. And... Um, yeah, seeing 25 or 30 entries in the senior class, I am, I'm super stoked uh, to, to get out there. I need to get my engine back. Uh, I need to find another chassis. So uh, I'll start working on that so I can get out there for a couple of races, I think, because it's uh, that many guys sounds like fun. Uh, let's see here. Next, that's, so that's next weekend. The following weekend, Challenge of the Americas. That is a challengecarding.com. And uh, Andy Saisman and his group, they've been sponsoring our site now for a couple of years, and we appreciate their support. Their website is challengecarding.com. Again, it's challengecarding.com. And they have their second round of their uh, Challenge of the Americas series, which is the West Coast National Series for the Vortex Rock Program. And that is taking place on February 26th through the 28th. And again, that's going to be done at Cal Speed. And we already mentioned Gary Carlton. He will be there as well supporting his customers. So uh, if you want information on either of those programs, again, NorCalCarters.com, click on the calendar. You can click on the events we posted for Gary Carlton. It'll take you to his website. Or you can click on the Challenge of the Americas or any other events. And if they're sponsors of the site, we have information to take you directly to their site. Uh, but again, if they're not sponsors, we're still putting all the races up for free. Uh, but the, the free listings are just very basic, uh, not a lot of description. There's no Google Map links. There's no website links. There's no class description or special event information. It's just um, non-sponsor race number one this weekend. That's it. So uh, again, to highlight your program, reach out to us. Uh, so that's February. And I may have to backtrack a little bit on this. Let's see. Um, Blue Max released their schedule a couple of weeks ago. So as we get closer to March, we will highlight that. Um, let's see here. So that, that takes care of February. Um, then we go to March. March 6th and 7th. 
That's Prairie City's four-stroke weekend. So again, Prairie City four-stroke weekend. They also have the 80 shifter class on that weekend. Yeah, yeah, I know. An 80cc shifter is not a four-stroke. However, they had to pick one weekend for the 80s, and they had to pick one weekend for the 125s. Um, so the 80s got put on the four-stroke weekend. The 125s got placed on the two-stroke weekend. So Prairie City, March 6th and 7th. That's going to be race number two. And um, that is taking place at uh, Prairie City, and it looks like it's going to be the Grand Prix course. Uh, that's also a fun course, but right now my favorite is modified perimeter. I, I'm really enjoying that layout. Uh, every time I get on the track, I go faster because it's uh, very challenging. Um, so yeah. Um, so March 6th and 7th, Prairie City, PCCarding.com. The following weekend, oh, sorry, sorry, MCK guys. Monday, 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 March 8th, NCK Road Racing. NCK is also a sponsor of our website, and their website is nckroadracing.com. And their first race of the season is March 8th on a Monday at Thunder Hill, and they will be on the Thunder Hill East track. So that's the big track. Uh, so NCK Road Racers website, nckroadracing.com, March 8th, which is a Monday, Monday, Monday. And uh, that's about the only race group I do that for because they're about the only ones that race on a Monday. I've mentioned it many times. Track rental for all the promoters are expensive. Track rental for road racing is even more expensive. So um, the other way of looking at it is sprint track rental time is cheap compared to road racing rental time. You can look at it that way. But uh, from a hobby standpoint, they're both expensive. Uh, so March 8th, Monday, 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 Thunder Hill East. Uh, that's um, for the NCK Road Racing Group. Again, to make it real simple, just go to NorCal Partners. Click on NorCal Party Calendar. Click on that. Any of our sponsors, click on their event. The event opens, you can go right to their website. You can register, you can get the full year schedule, you can get their class information. Um, Track layouts, if they have different locations with track layouts, all of it. So, again, workoutpartners.com. Click on the calendar. And what do we have here? So, that's March 8th. Um, and then the following weekend will be Prairie City. Two-stroke weekend, race number two. So, Prairie City, two-stroke weekend, race number two. And as we get further out for our events, I start kind of rolling through them a little bit faster. Because uh, as I get closer, I spend more time on them. So that's just kind of how I operate. Uh, let's see here. March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. And uh, that's on a Wednesday. Why do you care? Maybe you don't. But I do. Because that's the first time of the year I make corned beef and cabbage. And my favorite part about corned beef and cabbage and the leftovers for corned beef hash. So, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. And um, the other thing I'm looking forward to, am I? Yeah, Daylight Savings, March 14th. I might, I want to see which way we go. We go uh, spring forward. So, fall back, spring forward. I might like that one. Yeah, we'll see. I wish they would just get rid of Daylight Savings. Like, we don't, we don't need it anymore. You don't hit an hour, you don't lose an hour. It just, once that time changes, that's it. It's not like the earth stops for an hour and nothing else moves. No, that's not what happens on daylight savings. And it's not like the earth spins up real quick in a millisecond to gain an hour. It's not how this whole thing works. It's all mechanical because of the clock. So get rid of it. Just get rid of it, people. Instead of worrying about all this other political BS, get rid of daylight savings because I don't think I know anybody that agrees with it or wants it. Get rid of it. Make it easy for all of us. That is my soapbox for today. All right. Uh, so back to the latest calendar, NorCalFunders.com. Boom. Um, Gary Carlson, busy, busy, busy man. He 
Uh, again, he's supporting customers on the East Coast and the West Coast. So uh, March 20th and the 21st, he will be at Sonoma. That's the first round of the Sonoma Rock Cup events. And Sonoma is a sponsor of Mark Alpiders. Their website, sanzarucardi.com. And as we get closer to their uh, kickoff date, we'll highlight them a little bit more. But again, sanzarucardi.com. And um, they are the rock engine package for Northern California, or the race promoter for that package in Northern California. A lot of workout teams head to that uh, track. Uh, we have, you know, Ron White Racing is uh, almost based out of that area. Uh, Gary Carlton's been going to all the races. Uh, both of those guys bring, bring a big tent. Uh, Sweet Tech Racing Engine is based out of here in Central Valley. He, he goes out there to support his customers. Um, let's see, who else? Illuminos is out there. Leading Edgehead is out there. Um, Nick Duke with uh, the Carnegie Collective heads out there. Austin Elliott, Speed Sense, he heads out there. Um, I know I'm forgetting a couple of teams and, and such, but uh, you know how I won't forget you? Sponsor in MarkDalFarters.com. Then when I look at my calendar, I'll see it and go, oh, wait, hey, yeah, that shop's going to be out there. Cool. Give them a plug. So that's how that works. So that is March 20th and 21st. <coughs> Excuse me. Coughing over here. And the following week, so that's going to be a big race for Rock Sonoma. Because that's our race number one. Traditionally, for most of these promoters, the first race is the biggest race. Well, it's also the race weekend before Challenge of the Americas season finale at Sonoma. And uh, once again, GFC Cardi will be in attendance. And um, Challenge of Americas, that is our season finale, which is going to be March 26th through the 28th. Um, so that weekend of March 20th and 21st should be really good. If you've been practicing with your rock package in the winter, and you're really not sure if you're ready for the bigger events, that first round of Rock Sonoma is perfect because you get the guys coming in from the Challenge of the Americas events, and then you get the local guys, and um, you go out there and see if you can handle with the big boys. That's, that's it. Well, that's not it. That's it for right now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to talk about Moonbox. They just released their calendar. Um, I have yet to put them on, on the actual workout partners calendar yet. Uh, I'm trying to confirm with them if I can gain their support for 2021 on the calendar. But here it is, their race calendar. March 21st, May 2nd, June 13th, July 25th, August 22nd, September 19th. Again, this is Blue Max Car Club out in Davis. And uh, that's always an enjoyable track for me to go out to because uh, there's a Nugget Market right down the street. And if someone from Nugget Market is listening, uh, I don't mind sponsorship in the form of gift cards. Um, but it's right down the street. I go there and go to the deli, get my sandwich, go out to the track. And uh, it's right, it's, it's, I think it's like 37 minutes from my house when there's no traffic on the causeway. Um, so I have Blue Max Cart Club out in Davis. And again, March 21st, May 2nd, June 13th, July 25th, June, July, August, August 22nd, September 19th. That is their 2021 calendar. So that's Blue Max. And um, let's see here. KPX. Finalize their calendar. Uh, they had a couple of race track changes, etc. So I don't think, give me one second, I don't think I have KPX on my calendar yet. Uh, I will get them up there. Um, I was just waiting for them to really finalize the calendar. Um, so I, it's just time, it's very time intensive to go in and change calendars and do multiple dates. Um, I, I offer that additional service for the sponsors, but for the free listings, it's just uh, I have to wait until the calendars are um, solidified. 
So, KPX, KPX Cardinal Championship, April 10th and 11th, Shasta Cart Club, May 29th and 30th, Middle Stockton 99, June 19th and 20th, Blue Max Cart Club, July 10th and 11th, Northern Nevada Cart Club, September 25th, 26th, uh, Northern Nevada Cart Club. And the Northern Nevada Cart Club is also a sponsor. So shout out to uh, the crew up there at Northern Nevada Cart Club. That's um, nnckreno.com is our website. nnkcreno.com. So again, September 25th and 26th, uh, we'll be at Northern Nevada Cart Club. And they wrap up their season in. Um, Rancho Cordova at Prairie City, also a sponsor of NorCalPartners.com, on October 16th and 17th. So that's um, that's the KPX schedule. And then they also have some information, um, let's see here, August 21st and the 22nd is their KPX Battle for the West. So uh, August 21st and 22nd, Battle for the West, and that will be taking place at Buttonboro. Um, so that's KPX. Hopefully they can uh, get their schedule together for 2021. They were definitely one of the uh, casualties in 2020 and COVID. So a lot of, a lot of promoters and, and tracks have just opted to kind of stay put and put things on hold because uh, it's very hard to try to manage stuff when everything is out of your control. And let's see if I'm missing anybody here. I covered the races, I covered our sponsors for the upcoming events. Uh, so again, if you're ever missing an event, reach out to me. Uh, if you want extra attention on your events on the calendar or on the podcast, reach out to me. Um, last year, we actually had a couple of private donors. Uh, they actually pr- they sponsored a couple of clubs privately. They just they unanimously, not, not unanimously, anonymously, Anonymous? Anonymous. Uh, my English is terrible. Anonymous. Anonymous. Uh, well, you know what I mean. They didn't tell anyone. They just gave me money and they said, here, sponsor our club this year. So if you would like to do that, or if you have a business and you're a club member and you want to highlight your business on either the podcast or the um, calendar, reach out to me. Sponsor a club. And then promote your business as well. I'm actually working on some other cool stuff in the backgrounds um, to help carters promote their businesses to other carters, uh, which may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. But um, I'm working on uh, some cool stuff for that. And, um, or if you have a guest, or you would like to be a guest on the podcast, reach out to me. And um, we can get you... Uh, Get you lined up, and if there's someone else you want to hear besides yourself, let me know. But uh, yeah, NorCalPartners.com, and I'm not going to lie, I even just take straight donations. Uh, what I use the money for, uh, last year I upgraded my microphone system, my headphones, um, it pays for the subscriptions for the different podcasting platforms. Um, I would like to do more outreach for carding in general, uh, but it all costs advertising dollars. So if I could get enough money in the bank to where I'm kind of honestly just running ahead of my expenses and um, I have that money left over, well, instead of paying taxes, I'd rather just write it off as an advertising expense and start promoting the calendar and the podcast to the general population to bring more carters and more sport because it really is a great sport. And uh, last year, it was, it was the focus was here at the club. That was kind of really goofed up because of the COVID stuff. 2021 is Year of the Awards. So if your series gives out cool awards or something unique that you would like to highlight, send me the list and say, hey, Jason, you know, our club is doing this for our members this year. Can you highlight it? And uh, I will because a lot of these clubs put a lot of effort in to try to get prizes or, or awards or raffles and you know, a lot of times they, they, do, they don't do a great job on promoting that stuff because they're just working so hard at all the other stuff. 
So, again, if you're a club, if you're a promoter, you've got prizes or sponsors that you want to highlight, let me know. Now, full disclosure, if you're trying to promote your sponsors and you're not a sponsor of more account partners, you're going to end up on the bottom of the list really fast because I, I, it, it's, it's just common sense. You're getting paid by a sponsor to do something, so don't, don't ask for free promotion for your sponsors unless you are uh, supporting the Markel clients. Then, then it's not free. You become a sponsor. Um, and then your name moves up that list. So um, not to be so crass about it, I don't know if that's the right word, but that's just the ec economics of things. So, yeah. What else do we have here? I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to go through it real quick for you guys. Today, Friday, February 12th. Sunday, February 14th, Challenge of America's cutoff date for their registration for Cal Speed slash Fontana second round. Uh, there it's uh, February 26th and 20th. Next weekend, Prairie City, two stroke weekend, race number one. GFC Carding will be on the East Coast supporting Florida customers. February 26th through the 28th, Challenge of Americans and GFC Carding will be at Cal Speed. And uh, looks like I'm going to be down there as well. So um, looking forward to that. That's always a fun track to go to and watch the racing. You can kind of see everything there. So that's going to be neat. Uh, hopefully Andy left the ring in Phoenix and doesn't bring it to Cal Speed. And hopefully the wind is blowing in the right direction so we don't smell the, uh, the trash recycling transfer plant. Uh, so that's February. March. Prairie City First Road Weekend, race number two. March 6th and 7th. NCK Road Racing, Monday, 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 March 8th at Thunder Hill. March 13th and 14th, Prairie City Two Stroke Weekend, race number two. March 20th and 21st, round one of Sonoma Rock Cup. And uh, GFC Carding will be in attendance supporting these customers at that track. And again, if you're a local shop and you hear this, you go, know, why is he all in love with Gary Carlton? Well, I've known the kid since he's like 12 or 13. So I'm very partial to Gary. But he also sent me a check. And I'm really, really partial to checks. So, uh, GFCCarding.com. He will be supporting his customers March 20th and 21st. Uh, let's see, Challenge of the Americas, March 26th through the 28th. And uh, it's Challenge of the Americas. GFC Carding will be there as well. And for those that are wondering, I'm really just reading this up right off of the Cal Um I'll have KPX up there later this weekend. I will have Blue Max up there later this weekend. And if there's other clubs that are putting out their schedules, let me know so we can get you on the calendar. Uh, and again, if you'd like to sponsor our podcast or sponsor uh, the calendar, reach out to me. Uh, we have packages that are, uh, I think, pretty affordable from an advertising standpoint um, for getting your name or your company out there. And... I get to blabber and talk about your company or your race series, and um, I'm proud to say more than just my mom listens to this podcast now. So I've been looking at the stats, and every week the subscribers grow, the, the downloads grow, the likes grow, the feedback grows. Um, but you know what my favorite part about it is when I'm at the track and someone meets me for the first time? They find out who I am, and I go, wait, you're that podcast guy. And I, I always say, well, what, can you tell them my good looks? And I usually go, no, it's that nasally ass voice of yours. It's very recognizable. So um, if they're polite, they just usually leave it at, no, well, your voice is very recognizable. Um, if they're blunt and unpolished like myself, they just say, no, it's that nasally voice. It's so distinctive. So, that's it. Damn, that was 29 minutes and 46 seconds. I rambled on that one. Everyone have a great weekend. I will see you at the track soon. MikeAlCarter.com. Go check it out.